Representative Dan Edson, could you give us a quick explanation of the purpose of this committee? The purpose of this committee is to execute the business that should be being handled by the House of Representatives. We had five petitions that were read into the record of the House, the House Journal. Unfortunately, the Speaker has forbidden any committee chairs to take up these petitions and consider them, consider them in committee, and has in fact now forbidden us from even me meeting upon State House grounds. So we are now uh, executing our constitutional duties under Article 32 to hear the people's grievances as an ad hoc uh, group of legislators uh, meeting where we may. And, and you mentioned that uh, 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 you're here uh, today at the Reagan Network office across the street from the State House and the uh, Legislative Office building because you've been forbidden from meeting in, a pu in, in the public building? Well, you have to realize that the scheduling of the hearing rooms is done by the House clerk, and the House clerk has been not allowed to schedule us. Not so allowed to schedule you. Yes. It's a lot of power in the hand of one individual. That's the power of being the speaker. And that's why you choose whom you elect uh, very circumspectly, and hopefully you elect people who will elect a speaker that will do the business of the people and not the business of the politicos. Uh, how can a, a member of the general public uh, learn um, what the committee is doing or, or to contact a committee member to, uh, to be heard themselves? Well, uh, contact any of us by email or telephone. Uh, we will have a filing period for additional grievances in September. I hope that we will be doing more and that we will uh, put fear into the heart of government. Are these uh, hearings? Uh, uh, these are not hearings. We, we, are not, we are not holding hearings. These are not official actions of the legislature. We are a group of legislators listening to the people's grievances. And these are, uh, uh, these are public listening sessions? Yes. Can the, is, there, is there somewhere where the, the public can learn about them if they wanted to sit here and listen in? At the moment, unfortunately, no, because they are not being included in the House calendar. <laughs> no, I, I'm just trying to get some preliminaries out of the way. I have just had the. Oh, we didn't get a scan. I have the. I'm planning to scan the letter from uh, Zebel, who is challenging uh, us in any right that he claiming we don't have a right to summon, to, to, as he calls, summon judges. So we may never ever hear from judges uh, in this committee, which we didn't expect anyway, but it's an interesting letter and I'll forward it by email to you guys and I'll try to get copies to you. Yeah. So we've apparently struck a nerve already, barely having started. All right, my name is Paul Ingbretson. I'm a representative from Grafton County uh, District 5. Um, and this is the second uh, opportunity for us to listen to those people who've been asking for petitions for redress of grievance. Thanks, you, thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ashamed that this could be happening. Uh, oh, it's a nightmare. You know, somebody else wouldn't have to go through this. That would be well worth it. But you can make points next week, everybody. I see you're just chopping the bit there, David. No, I just <laughs> wanted to thank everybody for giving up your time for this. This is a beautiful thing that everyone's doing. I know you're getting a lot of resistance from the House leadership. We get paid big bucks, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. We don't care. Yeah. Don't love up on money. Don't love up on money. You're out getting us a journey. We do it for the mileage. Yeah. Yeah. This happens.